In this topic, we're going to look at how our lifestyle choices affect our health, fitness, and our well-being. The table below summarizes our lifestyle choices. So we have diet, activity, work, rest, and sleep balance, drugs, smoking, and alcohol. And we're gonna take a look at each one in a little bit more detail. Diet refers to the, the foods that we're regularly putting into our body and having a balanced diet is really important for, for maintaining fitness and maintaining health. We talk about diet in a lot more detail and the components of diet in another topic, but for now we need to understand that in order to, to save ourselves from certain illnesses such as, such as obesity, then we must have a balanced diet. Different sports performers may also have to manipulate their diets in different ways. So a long distance runner, for example, may need to have more carbohydrates in their diet, whereas a weightlifter will need more protein. The amount of activity we take part in is also a lifestyle choice. And most of the time we, we see as activity, activity is very good as part of our lifestyle and it helps all those all those health benefits that we talked about previously. So health, physical health benefits, mental health benefits, and social health benefits. However, some people can take activity too far. And if we think about somebody who becomes obsessed with a certain activity or exercise, they can end up doing damage to their body, both physically and mentally. So we have to manage activity as a lifestyle choice. Another lifestyle choice we have is how much time we spend working, resting and sleeping. And people often find that certain times in their schedule, they can tip the balance in favour of school or in, in favour of work. And they end up not getting enough rest and enough sleep. And this, this can lead to a lot of mental health problems. If we think about um, during school exams, we often stop taking part in sport. We stop sleeping as well because we're spending so much time revising and our, our minds never really switch off. Um, so it's really important to always maintain a good balance of work, sleep and rest. Taking drugs is another lifestyle choice and this can refer to performance enhancing drugs in sport or recreational drugs outside of sport and, and both types are, are going to have short-term gains, but then a lot of negative side effects to our, to our physical health and our mental health. Unfortunately, one of the, the problems people have when they start taking drugs is that they become addicted. So lots and lots of drugs, whether recreational or performance enhancing, are addictive and, and people can end up having very long-term battles to get off drugs that they thought they might only be taking for a short term. Smoking is a habit and a lifestyle choice that has a very negative effect on people's physical health. Um, the substance inside of, of cigarettes, which is damaging, is called tar. And this can lead to, over years of smoking, this can lead to, to very serious health issues such as bronchitis, pneumonia, and lung cancer. And what makes it even more difficult for smokers is that it also contains the drug nicotine. So cigarettes contain nicotine, which is an addictive drug, which makes it very hard for smokers to quit. The final lifestyle choice we're going to look at is the drinking of alcohol. And this has negative effects both in the short term and in the long term. In the short term, uh, alcohol is a diuretic, which means after drinking alcohol, you end up releasing uh, more water. So it leads to dehydration, which can then lead to headaches, particularly when we think about in a sporting context, this is going to have a very, very negative effect on your sporting performance. In, in terms of the long term, drinking alcohol over a number of years can, just like smoking, can uh, lead to a lot of of uh, negatives physically for your health. And some of these physical health problems include a weakened immune system, high blood pressure, which can lead to a heart attack, and also mental health problems such as anxiety and depression. 
You could be asked about any of the lifestyle choices in an exam, but the two you're most likely to be asked about are smoking and drinking alcohol. Um, obviously, the question could differ, but perhaps the most likely question you could be asked if it was to be free marks is explain how smoking can impact negatively on health and well-being. So the table below just summarizes some of the answers that you could give. So for example, you could say chemicals in smoke enter the lungs, causing an infection in the bronchi, which can result in an increased chance of bronchitis. Equally, if you had a free mark question on alcohol, then this perhaps could form an answer for you shown in the table below. So we could say that alcohol weakens your immune system, making you an easier target for disease. And this results in an increased chance of short and long term illness. If you got asked about alcohol in a sporting setting, so how um, can alcohol negatively affect your performance in sports? then we could talk about how alcohol is a diuretic, how that can lead to, to dehydration, which results in headaches and dizziness, and this is gonna decrease your performance in sports.